I guess I better not say anything anymore to anybody because you never know. This 78 year old says the rules of riding the subway may have changed, and he's living proof. Beaten and bruised allegedly after telling this man to turn down his loud music. He started punching me in my head. He would not stop. I never saw so much blood. People were slipping on the floor from the blood. It happened Thursday on board a one train near 96th Street and Broadway on the Upper West Side. The victim says he was on his way to gardening class. He tells PIX11 News first, this man punched. Punched him repeatedly. Then this woman kicked him in the head. I literally thought I was going to die the first time in my life. I thought the guy was going to kill me. He says violence is commonplace underground. He's seen it, now experienced it firsthand. And even though Mayor Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hochul promised many changes, there was no officers. There was no uh, there was no cameras on that train. They were going to have cameras. They're not, no, it's not working. For decades, he's been using the subway system and believes times have changed drastically, but still never thought his words would resort to violence. The guy that, what he did to me, he should be in jail the rest of his life. If he's released, I'll be scared to death. Police arrested his attacker. Now this victim is worried about what could be next. He committed another crime in Brooklyn. <sighs> And so uh, they called me to tell me I have to go to court Wednesday. And if I don't go, he'll be released from jail. Just like that. Meantime, he says he will not live in fear and sends this warning to other riders. I'm just so worried about everyone. And I just hope that they're really careful and maybe not say or even look at anybody anymore because anything can spark something off. The victim has five stitches in his head, bumps and bruises, and now he says he has to battle the court system. On the Upper West Side, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.